Hello everyone and welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video we are going to solve this interesting Olympiad algebra problem. So we have a fraction, we have a denominator a to the 8th power minus a square and in our denominator a to the 4th power minus a square as well equal to 9 and we need to we need to solve this. How can you solve it? There are a lot of approaches how can you solve this equation because we have a huge power so there are a lot of approaches how can you solve it. But I'm going to show you a really good the really good approach how can you solve it take a look right here in our denominator we have a to the eighth power and a square so it's not hard to see that a square we can factor out as a common so let's do this we will have a square and in parentheses we will have only a to the sixth power and minus one so from here to two powers we bring out the parentheses and minus one this we factor in equal to nine of course and the same in our denominator because right here we have four and second power we can factor out the second power so a to the second power and we will have a square minus a square minus one so it's not hard to see that we just factor out fact factoring a square from here we will factor factor out a square and from our denominator we factor in a square and moreover this a square is the same in denominator and denominator so we can easily cancel this a a square so what equation we will have we will have after this cancelling we will have that a to the sixth power minus one dividing by a square minus one equal to equal to nine so a little bit simplifying after this step so what are we going to do in our case let's multiply both sides by a square minus one because if we multiply it by by this element we don't have any denominator and it's good for us so what we're going to do take a look we just multiply this both side by a square minus one so a to the sixth power minus one equal to nine times a square minus one so we just multiply both sides right here we cancel this denominator and we will have our answer and moreover we can write this a to the sixth power as a square a square to the third power minus one cube equal to nine times a square minus one so we just write it in in another way but moreover we can write this difference of cubes using formula we all know the formula if we have x cube minus y cube it will be equal to x minus y times a square x square plus x y and plus y square so let's use this formula in our case we'll have difference of cubes so we can easily use this formula a square minus one just using this formula times a square to the second power plus a square and plus one we just apply this this formula equal to nine times a square minus one the same on the right right here difference of cubes and the same on the right and what we'll see right now we see two same elements right here we multiply by a square minus one and right here multiplying by a square minus one so we can cancel this this as a result as you can see we will have a to the fourth power we raise this overwrite it in in the next way a square to the second power plus a square and plus one equal to nine and let's simplify this so we let only with this expression because right here we cancel this we will have a to the fourth power plus a square and plus one equal to nine moreover we can rewrite it bringing this nine on the left and our final equation a to the fourth power plus a square and minus eight equal to zero so this is our final equation but this equation is not a classic equation we have fourth power so we can write a we need to write a substitution so let a square equal to equal to t for example then in our case we will have right here we will have a square to the second power which signals that right here we'll have t square right here t and minus eight so our equation take a look t square t square plus t and minus eight equal to zero so we will have the next the next equation so how can we solve this equation firstly we need to find t1 and t2 
And how can you find this? Of course, using a classic ABT, ABC method. So we will have T1 and T2. I just put all of these elements in our, in our formula. So minus B, we will have minus 1 plus minus square root of, of B square 1 minus 4AC. So minus with this minus will be plus plus 4AC for time 8 will be 32 and dividing by, by 2. Of course, we can simplify this. We will have minus 1 plus minus square root of 33 and dividing by, by 2. So this is our T1 and T2 using every sign. We will have with the plus sign, with the minus sign, doesn't matter. So what we're going to do next, let's write that our T is equal to minus 1 plus square root 33 dividing by 2, but we work with with a substitution right here a square equal to t so we need to write our final answer that our a square equal to t a square equal to t then we need to find square root from this answer so our a will be equal to plus minus square root of our minus 1 plus 33 square root of 33 and dividing by 2 and right here, as you can see, I reject a negative root because if you put negative right here, we'll have a negative answer as well. But square root cannot get negative negative uh, values. So right here we reject reject a minus minus value from here. We reject it. This is our t1 and t2. But if you are talking about a, we need to reject a negative negative answer. So as you can see, we find. Our, our answer. Really good equation. If you still have any question, write a question in the comment. It will be written soon to read it. As for me, as you know, as you see right here, we have eight power, so we will have a lot of roots right here, but in complex numbers. Right here, as you can see, we cancel this, we will find complex number root, but we find this one, and it's, it's good for us. A equal to plus minus square root of minus 1 plus square root 33 and dividing by, by 2. So firstly factoring a square, secondly multiplying both sides by denominator, and secondly it's really good because we cancel this, this, this expression. So we'll have a quadratic equation using a substitution and we'll have, we'll have final answer and this is our and this is our answer. If you still have any question, write a question in the comment. It will be really instant to read it. And thank you so much for watching, subscribing. See you in the next videos.